capes or no capes? Whichever you prefer, here are the best new and upcoming superhero games on PC. Superhero movies are now a Hollywood box office staple. Keeping up with each extended universe across movies and TV can sometimes be mentally exhausting. We need to stop this now. But video games feel a little different. We have our heavy hitters like the Batman Arkham games, but superhero games are often thin on the ground. Even then, a lot of them are joyously Lego-based. Thankfully though, 2021 and beyond is going to be a lot more heroic, and there's a lot of Marvel and DC goodness on the way in 2022. Subscribe to Logitech G to make sure you never miss a video from us again, and let's get ready to see how good we look in a cowl with the best new and upcoming superhero games on PC. We're starting with a clean slate, and you're not on it. Given that this whole list is in celebration of Star-Lord and Friends, we better start with the brand new Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Although you might think this would be a multiplayer experience like Avengers, this is actually a single-player narrative from Eidos Montreal. This means we can truly feel what it's like to try and corral the team into actually working as one, especially when one of them is kind of a tree. Amidst the brilliant one-liners and absurd combat with its own incredible 80s score, we have to make the decisions that will actually have an impact on the way the game plays out, and the relationships between the heroes. This means that the heartfelt story here is just as important as the frankly absurd world you often find yourself in. What can we say? We're hooked on a feeling. Keep your pants on. Although it could be used as a distraction. From saving the world to, well, taking over it while laughing maniacally. Okay, laughing is optional, but at least practice spinning on your gaming chair. Evil Genius 2 World Domination is more of an anti-superhero game. There are heroes here, but instead of letting them save the world, you need to expertly build traps to stop them getting any further into your evil lair. Rebellion's villain management game is perfect for days where you just want to have evil plans and hordes of minions that put them into action without question. Just don't expect an easy ride with this one. You'll have to train up said minions for their tasks and keep your lair as a functioning casino so that no one realizes that your over-the-top island paradise getaway is a front for true nefariousness. Prepare for satisfying sprawling lair building and some mousetrap-style gauntlets for infiltrators. Those heroes had it coming anyway. It's been far too long since we played a new Rocksteady game, but now that we've seen a little more of Suicide Squad kill the Justice League, it feels like this continuation of the Arkhamverse is going to be absolutely worth waiting for. Again, a bit like Evil Genius 2, we're not exactly representing all that's good and right with the world when we take control of the Suicide Squad, but it doesn't look like DC superheroes are in particularly good moral standing anyway. The game is set in Metropolis in the same universe as the previous Arkham Batman games, and we'll be able to choose which of the enjoyably sarcastic anti-heroes to play as. Harley Quinn, Deadshot, the very carnivorous King Shark, and of course, Captain Boomerang are all ready and waiting in this single and multiplayer experience. We don't have a date for release just yet, but we just can't wait to swing Harley's bat, man. So, figure out who we're killing yet? Oh. Let's try and get on the right side of the law now with Warner Brother Games Montreal's Gotham Knights. This is another one that was meant to be out in 2021, but was also moved to 2022 to ensure a DC-flavored year. Here, we're firmly back in Batman's stomping ground, but with no world's greatest detective and a distinctly more RPG feel to proceedings. Just like Suicide Squad, we don't need to play as just one hero either. Robin, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Batgirl are all here, each with their own unique combat and abilities. And to take on the Court of Owls, they're going to need them. Irrelevant. I already have what I need. 
We were shown more of this dark organization in the latest Gotham Knights story trailer. The city is being run by these mysterious masked villains, and it will be our job to free Gotham from their grip. Raise your gloved hand holding the Batarang if you're just planning on playing as Batgirl the entire time. Us too. See about that. 80s and 90s kids rejoice. The heroes in a half shell are back in side scrolling form. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge looks like pure pixelated nostalgia as we join Leonardo and Co for pizza and frenzied fisticuffs. What's even more exciting though, wait, righteous though, is that this is from the Streets of Rage 4 team, so they know their hand-to-hand -hand warfare. The devs are aiming for a pure, vintage TMNT experience that'll make you wish you kept your plastic figures as we hurtle sideways across New York. There will also be plenty of iconic Turtles characters making a triumphant return, including a playable April O'Neil. Plus, there'll be support for up to four players at once. We can just hear the button mashing already. Finally, it's time for a game that's been flying under the radar like a stealthy superhero since its reveal at Gamescom 2021. Marvel's Midnight Suns is out in 2022 from the XCON team at Firaxis Games. This is a turn-based RPG headed up by Jake Solomon, just the man who designed XCOM Enemy Unknown and XCOM 2. Here we'll be playing as multiple heroes including, but not limited to, Iron Man, Captain Marvel, Captain America, Doctor Strange and Wolverine. 13 heroes will be here, but don't worry, it's not going to be an XCOM clone with Marvel characters. In an interview, Solomon said that they have thrown away everything that's come before and there is zero mechanics shared between XCOM and Midnight Suns. Amongst the many exciting features is the Abbey, a new HQ zone designed with Marvel where we'll be able to level up characters with different pastimes. You can't be heroic all the time. Hey, who ate the rest of my ramen? Um, bad dog! <laughs> So those are some of the latest super-powered games on PC and the best ones to look out for in 2022. Let us know your favourite heroic games in the comments below, drop us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more features and lists just like this one. If you do already subscribe, hit the notification bell and we'll let you know every time a new video gets a superhero landing.